Hello and welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to a special where I take something that is a little bit past its expiration date and put it inside my mouth because uh, today we have some Twizzlers. Now Twizzlers are made by the Hershey company in America if I hold it up to the camera. I wonder if it'll actually focus on the on the candy or what I could do is just take a photograph of it um, on a bit of wood make it look real nice. Now there is a problem with this we're not in America, at least I'm not in America, you can probably tell by my accent and my accent and also um, the fact that I'm not in America. So at some point I have made an order for something that came from the United States and Hershey uh, made these things for consumption in the United States. As far as I can tell, two things, two things are a little bit of a problem here. One, all the information that I can find say that these have a two month shelf life or a least two months best before before they go stale um i think you get the strawberry ones which is what this is and then you get you get a licorice one and the licorice one goes stale more than the strawberry one i'm not entirely sure the other thing is i can't remember when i got this it could be two two years and one month ago if if it came with something like uh flynn's light cycle so i have done some orders from america and uh, the 2010 Tron Flynn's light cycle with it's got a little button you can sort of light it up you push push the little button and make it all do things um I'm not I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna do that but yeah basically that's where this could have come from if it didn't come with um the the light cycle then the other place it could have come from is with a any number of bits of audio equipment which means it could be even older than two years old bearing in mind that the the only thing i can find on these is a shelf life of two months or a, a half life of two months or two months keep, keeps being mentioned by the internet uh, the other thing is this is from a multi-pack um, this i think comes from a plastic box with a lot of other plastic boys inside it they're individually wrapped i believe the other way you can get these is in a sort of a a bag that you open up and they're all not wrapped in the bag so 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 i didn't buy it um it came with an order from america it was made in america thousands of miles away and it's been sat on a shelf next to next to my dreamcast next to my uh, next to my dreamcast for a while for at least two years um, the only thing that it says on the packet in blue, um, which you probably can't see, is that it may contain soy and wheat. And I think the wheat is, is put on the, on, on the candy stick in order to uh, make sure it doesn't stick to the bag. I have no idea why soy would be in there. Um, if, it's made of, if it's made of sugar, then it should be relatively safe to eat, even though it's been around the sun a couple of times. If it's made of um, sort of modified corn starch, which America is very, very fond of uh, making its candies out of, then I have no idea. I have literally no idea. So this could be stale. Um, it could be poisonous or it could be absolutely fine. It is a little bit sticky about here. I have noticed that um, when I've been handling it, it, it is a bit sticky about here. So so it's been a while since i put something that's out of date in my mouth why don't we just go ahead and put it in my mouth um so strawberry flavored well that that's that that says everything you need to know about candy uh did i open it i'm not smelling anything uh oh how sticky is i should have prepared this is that that's not what i was expecting um that smells like licorice that that smells that I was gonna hold it up to the up to the camera so you could you could have a little smell yourself. Um, yeah, no, so licorice, if you didn't know, uh, in candies tends to be aniseed because too much actual licorice, if you consumed pounds and pounds of licorice or kilos and kilos of licorice, one of the things that can uh, one of the things that can happen is that you will suffer effects similar to congenital heart failure um, because licorice will do that to you although you will also find it in cough syrup because it's good for coughs so you know your mileage is also going to vary i'm fingering this like it's like i don't want to put it in my mouth it doesn't smell like strawberry it smells like the bottom of a fridge i don't it's gone black is that i don't think you can see properly it's very dark on the end 
I'm kind of putting it off. I want to have a nibble, but I don't. Ugh. Why do I keep smelling it? It's just not right. Maybe... It doesn't get any better every time I smell it. Um, I mean, I, I estimate two years old. This could be a lot older than that. Oh, God. It could have been in a freaking barn in Alabama for all anyone knows. All right. Um. Mm. Some great foley work. Um. That ain't no strawberry I ever tasted. Gonna be honest with you. Tastes like banana. Like literally tastes like banana. Smells like smells like aniseed, tastes like banana. Um that's weird. That's really, really oh it tastes like some warm butter, smeared it over banana, and then put it in my mouth. A warm buttery banana is not something that I wonder if this is gonna kill me, to be quite honest. Um Oh yeah, mmm. Maybe I should have put this in the fridge. Kind of like um how I am if I drank alcohol. This is kind of what I imagine a banana daiquiri to taste like. Sort of bananary, buttery, and sort of poisonous at the same time. I, uh, uh, oh. I might actually die. Nah, nah. Nah, I, I can't die to this. Nah, I'll, I'll probably, I'll roll, um, I'll roll, a, I'll roll high on the dice. I'll, I'll save myself. A good constitution, probably. Or I'll just vomit everywhere later. Anyway. Oh, hmm. There's a tiny faint hint of strawberry. I think the shelf life is basically the life of the flavouring. The rest of it's just kind of a bit rubbery um, and hard to chew. I think these are called Twizzlers on the... Is it Twizzlers on the East Coast and Red Vines on the West? I'm going to an East West thing. Let's taste like banana. Definitely a banana bite. I'm going to go and spit this out. This is not great. Um... If you like this kind of video, uh, definitely, definitely leave a little like, leave a subscribe. If you want to see me eat more out of date stuff, I do have some more out of date stuff. I mean, if that's your jam, say I'd like to see more out of date stuff, please. I'm going to have to get rid of this. Um, but until then, I'll tell you what, like the video because it helps the video. Subscribe to the channel because that helps the channel. If you want to share this somewhere, share it. That's fine. And I'll tell you what, I'll catch you next time. <laughs>